Well, hello, members. It's LA. We're going to look at uh, what's going on with the uh, Cradle to Grave series uh, stocks. Uh, we had three that we were still carrying. Uh, we're going to look at each one of those now. And uh, two of them uh, no longer are part of the portfolio. We're going to start with Apple, which is one of those two. Apple had a nice big push down, right? The gap down right here off earnings. Big volume comes in. Not huge comparatively, and we'll look at that in a second. But it does continue down. Test this swing point low and holds. Then it comes down and tests some more, right? Because we actually didn't test on the weekly, and I'll show you that in a second. And then it held there, and we actually entered over here as a result of that. Unfortunately, got kicked out yesterday on the trade as it broke down, and I'll show you that on the weekly next. So let's look at that, and I'll show you why we exited. Here's the weekly. As I was just saying on the daily, we didn't enter it until it broke, or not broke, but tested this $92 swing point low. That test last, uh, well, it wasn't last week, but it was uh, right here, that price point there, the low was 91.85. Actually, it was last week, We I, Friday, I believe, actually. We entered it on Friday. Got the push up, got a little bit of a push up, right? Got as high as 94 almost, 93.77. But then this week started to break down, in particular today, uh, started to, actually yesterday started to break down. And the result of that uh, kicked us out. And if you look over here on the, on the monthly chart, that swing point low is the same one, 92. We're also uh, trying to break on the monthly uh, another swing point low, which is that one. But one thing I didn't pick up on, and unfortunately I should have picked up on, and I didn't look at the monthly close enough, is that on the monthly here, we actually did break a swing point low on the monthly, on the month of April. And that swing point low was here. That was a break of multiple swing point lows on multiple time frames. That says it should carry two to three bars, right, on the longest time frame, which in this case is the monthly. Something I should have picked up on, didn't pick up on, entered the trade anyway, and actually did not even notice it until I was analyzing why the trade failed. This was the reason probably I should have seen that. I missed that trade or I missed that uh, read, and that cost me on this trade. So we exited yesterday on this break as it broke down. I uh, tried to get a little bounce and get out close to 92. Didn't quite get that. Ended up getting stopped out at uh, 91.56, I believe, and just got out. And that, uh, you know, you just have to leave. And matter of fact, when you come over here on the monthly and you see what happened, uh, even though I didn't pick up on that as we exited, uh, that was the right thing to do, I believe, because we're probably going to see this carry lower. It's probably going to carry into these two bars you see over here which is um, as low as about 79 uh, bucks. So that's Apple. Uh, another one that we were in and got stopped out of is VRX. Now, VRX, which is very interesting. So here's the daily. We got stopped out again, just like Apple yesterday, on a break of these swing point lows. And the reason to get out is because that was also potentially a break on the weekly. Now, Today, it pops back up, closes at 25.90. This low is 25.27. And the one over here, 25.99. So you're actually in between them, but you held the lowest of the swing point lows today on the daily. The most important thing is here on the weekly, it actually undercut this low, 25.27, which is that same one, right? Got under it, back over it. Volume is lighter, right, which says more than likely this thing is going to try to bounce. Now, we could get a test lower again next week, but I am going to be monitoring this and trying to decide whether to, to re-enter this trade or not. At this point, we had to exit the trade. Finally, the last one uh, that we're actually still in, which of course is gold and will probably be in for some time, gold pulls back this week, you know, five bars here, they're all lower off of that last uh, big spike up. If we go to the weekly, right, it should have continued to extend, did not. 
that tells me that this is a little bit weaker than it looks and that's just weaker in the sense that right now it can't break higher you know so you should have got an extenu extension it didn't so at this point you know if we draw this in it's still a fairly steep and when we're back here it was definitely steeper right so that steep ascent leading to a failure to get the continuation which is what we should have got on multiple swing point breaks that says this thing is probably going to consolidate this swing point high just as before all right is the test again on anything that pulls back it's at the bottom of this bar it's into this big spike bar here so to me that's kind of the target area about 117 uh, 118 down to about 115 potentially and we'll see how you know it wants to come back if and when there's no reason to sell out up here because this could continue to extend very bullish chart it's bullish on all time frames um, the way it's trading it hasn't broken the swing point high yet so on the long term time frame it's not bullish it's not even sideways yet but it's done the things it needed to for example it got over the bearish retest and regen it's not going to regen it's way over that it's definitely going to hold it so that tells me that the trend down is probably not down anymore. It, you know, even though it has been down, more than likely at this point, it is sideways. That's what the bearish retest regen that doesn't succeed in regenerating lower, right, tells you. And so sideways is the way we have to think about it. Bullish on the other time frames. You want to buy dips, and we're going to continue to hold this and buy dips and accumulate the position. That's the three stocks that we have. Uh, I'll take a look at where we're going to go next and uh, add another stock or two uh, next week. Thanks. Goodbye.